Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Layton, and if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. Today's video is going to be a Shein try on haul. I'm very excited. My first haul. It's a big haul too. We got a bunch of stuff. Number one, partly because honestly, I wanted to be able to film this video. And also, I just have this problem where I'm obsessed with clothes. <sighs> I'm gonna try everything on for you guys. Got some really cute things. And also, as I'm showing you guys what I got, I'm gonna kind of explain how each piece could be worn in this transition season that's coming up. You know, it's September now, fall is approaching, so it's time to start thinking about ways to create transitional outfits because sometimes that can be very difficult. Honestly, that's just the worst. It's just the weirdest time. Clothes are so fun. They can help make you feel more confident. I know for me, like when I'm wearing an outfit that I'm excited about, it entirely changes the way that I carry myself. I just feel so much more confident and confidence is great. So also, it's just such a fun way to express yourself and be creative with what you're wearing. Yeah, anyway, we love clothes. Let's get into the haul. <laughs> so the shirt that I'm wearing right now is one of the things that I got. It's just this oversized t-shirt with this butterfly. And it says, honestly, I have no idea. I just thought the butterfly was cute. Love the butterfly trend going on. And I really like the sleeves. I think the oversized t-shirt look with these sleeves that hang down like this is super flattering. I hate when they're short and like cut off. Hey guys, it's me on a totally different day. I looked back at the footage that I filmed the first time of me trying on the outfits and it was the worst angle. I don't know how I couldn't tell when I was filming it, but it just was not a good angle. So here I am again. That's okay, you know, I'm new to this trial and error. You live and you learn and I'm learning. So we're gonna give this another try. So I'm gonna start with dresses and move into skirts, dressier tops, and then into more casual wear. So this first dress I'm gonna show you guys is this lovely bodycon dress. It's got this, I don't know why I still haven't figured out the correct term for this. I need to work on my fashion vocabulary, <laughs> but I just love clothes that have this bunching because I think it's super flattering. Beautiful colors. It is definitely more of a summery dress, I would say, but not hard to transition it into fall just by wearing it with some booties and a cute jacket. So, I love this. Dress number two. I got two dresses, if you're wondering. Is this like reddish maroonish burgundy? dress definitely more fall vibes in the sleeves you can wear it up like this or more off the shoulder it looks good both ways it's got this little polka dot design and then the back is a different material it's this stretchy material so comfortable and it makes your booty look pretty good so but i will say though at first i didn't think this dress was going to work because it comes straight and then you have to bunch it yourself and then you like have to make it even all the way up to the top. It's just one long line that connects. And so it took me a minute to get it situated, but I think I can still make it work. This is a great fall transition dress. It's got those fall colored vibes. Once again, wear it with some booties, maybe a little jacket and you're good to go. Now it's time for skirts. I'm really excited about the skirt, they're so cute. This first skirt is this beautiful purple lavender color. Okay, it's, it's hard to tell the shape when it's on, but it's just this like iridescent cheetah pattern. It's got the little strings on the side. You'll notice a trend. I'm realizing you'll notice in this video that I'm drawn to items that have this little string thing going on. It just, it works. One side is shorter than the other, which I think is super flattering. You can adjust it to how you want. Definitely not like the nicest material that it could be because I mean, it's Shein and it was probably like $8. <laughs> 
which I love, but it's still like nice enough material to wear it looks good on and you might be able to tell but someone else looking on it's not like obvious you know what i'm saying you know one day in the future i would love to just invest in many expensive amazing quality items but the next skirt i think might be my favorite this plaid skirt I've really been wanting a plaid skirt and I finally found a good one. So the colors, it's like this cream and light blue and brown plaid pattern. And may I say, perfect for fall because like plaid equals fall. Fall equals plaid. It's a little tight on me, but it works. Love these little pieces. Super, wow, super, Flattering makes the booty look juicy. Okay, anyway, yeah, obsessed with this. It's just cute, like, mm, cute school schoolgirl vibes. Now moving into like dressier tops. This is also one of my favorite items. Whew. Anybody else just get like giddy about an outfit or clothing item that they really like? Or is it just me? Because maybe I have an issue. But a really cute clothing item or outfit just makes me mm, giddy. Okay, so this is it. Once again, like I said, it's got the string thing going on. So that's nice. You can kind of adjust how cropped you want it. And it's got these big sleeves. It's like a olive slash teal green, if that makes any sense. It's got that iridescent look too. I love this. I can't wait to wear it with a really nice pair of jeans and some booties and some fun gold jewelry. That will be a look. Next top, this black one. Can you even really tell what's going on? I don't know. But it's just this sheer material. So the sleeves are completely sheer. The middle is sheer too, but it's thicker with more layers. So you'll just like need to wear a nude bra. And then the sleeves are kind of puffy. I love this top. It gives off like a classy, sexy night out vibe, you know, which is kind of my favorite. I like the light long sleeve looks for this transition era. Okay, next are some tank tops, kind of random, but I just like them. Okay, this purple one, it's definitely more of summer-ish, but I just thought it was so fun and so I had to get it. It's this purple tie-dye and then stringy back that is open to your back. I love that look. I think an open back is just so hot, honestly. This next tank top, the color is way more fall or wintery because it reminds me of Christmas. This would be great for a Christmas party, you know? But it isn't warm, so I would just have to pair it with a nice jacket and then wearing it inside obviously I could take the jacket off but gorgeous next top this light blue top beautiful color and how I've been liking to wear it when I try it on is buttoning the middle to have that look that's in style with the chest and stomach showing I think that's so fun and then it's got like the little ruffly edges and I didn't do this on purpose, but this top actually matches the plaid skirt. It matches the blue that's in there. So I'm gonna pair these together, I think. But I love this shirt too, because you can dress it up or down. You can wear it with like sweats or loungewear shorts, or you can pair it with a skirt, like I said, or some cute pants and spice things up. Versatile. Next. <laughs> I love this, another tie-dye pattern orange neon orange i've been really into the oranges lately i think they look so good with a nice tan it's long sleeves cropped and it's got a zipper and how the model had it was unzipped at the top and bottom to have that same type of look this also could be worn all different ways like with loungewear type bottoms or you could dress it up a great thing to have in your closet for fall coming up when does fall actually start officially? Okay, we're about to head into the more lounge type wear. So I guess I'll go ahead and start with what I'm wearing. It's this tannish light brown oversized t-shirt and it says Los Angeles. 
I just got it because I really liked the color. I think I got it in a small. It's because it's meant to be oversized. So don't like size up if you're going to get this. But I love that it's longer. It's the perfect length to wear with biker shorts. Super cute. Okay, next up. Just this cropped light pink blush tank top. There it is again, you guys. The strings on the side. A super cute detail. And you can kind of adjust it to be how short or long you want. And I really like the material. It feels like good quality. Fits great. Love this. This next top is so fun. It's different than anything I have. This black crop top. It kind of has like an athletic look, but the material isn't something I would actually want to work out in. So it would be more if I'm trying to have like a sporty look, but want to look cute, you know? But it's got this zipper and a little collar. I just think it looks like a hot mom who's got her cute athletic looking gear on for the day going to drop the kids off at soccer practice. <laughs> the bust area is kind of tight. I will say I can tell it's meant to be worn with the zipper all the way down because that's the only way it's not like awkwardly pressing my boobs flat. So that does make it kind of more revealing. Just saying. Next. This cropped tank top with like a tan and black smokish pattern. I really like this. I've been into the tannish browns and stuff. It looks really, really nice. I've already worn this a bunch with my sweats. So adorable. Next up, this cropped white t-shirt with those things on the side. I've been wanting one of these tops for a long time ever since I saw them on Princess Polly but the ones on Princess Polly were like $40 and I'm not trying to do that. It's definitely a thinner material but it still works. Just make sure you wear nude bra under it and you're fine. So this is another thing that is just such a good basic to have because you can do so many different things with it. My last item, I'm kind of sad because I was really excited but the colors in person are just, I don't know if I'm feeling them. They're these tie-dye sweatpants. I mean, they definitely work. Like, I'll definitely wear these around my apartment and stuff when I'm wanting to just chill but also feel kind of put together and cute. But my high school colors were green and yellow, so literally, I don't know. All I can think of when I see this is, go Saints, go Briarcrest. If you're watching this and you went to Briarcrest, that is the last item. I feel like I'm forgetting something. that is it for this haul. I had so much fun showing you guys what I got. So hopefully it gave you a little outfit inspiration. Maybe you'll want to go order one of these things for yourself. This video was more of just a basic try on haul, but I'm excited to have videos in the future where I'm actually styling certain pieces and putting together a whole look. So be on the lookout for videos like that coming out soon. I think that's about it, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. That would really help me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you.